Well guys, it's been 40 years. If somebody said to me now, 40 years ago, that I'd be sitting here talking about 40 years at Wildlife Aid, I think I'd just laugh. No, it's been an amazing ride for us. Starting from what was really just a hobby in our back kitchen, and it was literally that. We had animals in the kitchen all over the surfaces, animals on the door frames, animals on, on top of heat pads on the surfaces. It was a simple little hobby operation, but it gave us so much satisfaction. The pleasure of seeing a, a little baby bird that would have died if we hadn't have saved it, getting it back and letting it go back to the wild. That is what still rocks my boat today. From the kitchen, we expanded to an eight by 12 foot shed, which we thought was amazing at the time. And looking back, it was very archaic indeed. And it was a shed that I built myself, I hasten to add, so very lucky that it didn't fall down. We grew too big for the shed, so we had to build a hospital in my house. We grew too big for that, so we had to build a hospital up here. We grew too big for that, so that hospital has now become the second hospital, and we're now sitting in the most recent addition, our main hospital. Some nearly 18 years into the centre, people came up to me and said, we want to learn how to rescue, we want to learn how to do what you do. You can't bring everybody up when you've got a rescue. You, you, you've got to rush off in the car and go and do it. So we had the bright idea of filming our rescue so we could then put those films up and talk it through with the volunteers, explaining why we did what we did, why we stood where we stood, what kit we needed to do the rescue. And believe it or not, from that little bit of rescue footage, we got a TV series. That ran for 16 years. But so many people have seen it, so many people love it, and so many people have picked up the tips that we've given them over the years. So it's been educational for us, it's been a privilege to do what we did, and I hope we've given you some pleasure as well. So very quickly we grew from five volunteers to 10 volunteers to 20 volunteers, and now we have, believe it or not, 370. Without the volunteers, we would not be here today. It's dead simple, there's absolutely no question. And the, dedication and loyalty we get from every single person who works here, be it with the animals, be it in the office, being off, be it on reception, any of those things, that's what makes us function today. So this year, our 40th year, we have massive plans. We have two big projects. One is to build a new centre which will also concentrate heavily on education and the other one is actually linked in a way, it's called IDOT, so we get everybody doing something, just one tiny action a day to help the environment. I know I say this so many times, but it is your support that's got us where we are today, and it is your support and help that could move us forward into the next 40 years. Take a look at the website, look at the plans for the new centre, look at IDOT, and just imagine what we can do if we all work together. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel by pressing the red button and make sure you hit the bell to get notifications of our latest content. If you want to help us save wildlife, please donate. Every pound you give will help us to save more wildlife.